Hello, boys and girls. I'm so happy to see you again. It's Miss J, your friendship teacher, and it's time to check your choices. Today, we're going to be talking all about anger and a special way to think about it, the anger thermometer. In our last two videos, we've been focusing on what it means to be fair, friendly, accepting, inclusive, and responsible. It would be wonderful if people acted in a fair way all the time, but sometimes people are unfair to others. How do you think I might feel if I felt like somebody was being unfair to me? I might start off a little bit confused, and if it keeps happening, I might start to get sad. And then if we don't fix the sadness, that sadness can turn into anger. It's okay to feel angry sometimes. Most of us do at one point or another, but it's not okay to hurt someone or hurt something because we're feeling angry. In fact, inside each and every one of us, we have a special one of these tools. Does anybody know what this tool is called? If you said thermometer, you're right. We use thermometers to measure how hot or how cold something is to measure the temperature. But this is a special kind of thermometer. It's not a temperature thermometer. It's a temper thermometer or an anger thermometer. An anger thermometer can help us measure how upset we're getting. Let's say I woke up this morning, the sun was shining, the birds were singing, I felt wonderful. My anger thermometer probably looked like this. But then things can change. Maybe big things happen or a whole bunch of little things happen and it makes that thermometer go up. But we have to be careful because if our anger thermometer gets too high, it can explode. That doesn't mean that I'm going to explode into tiny little pieces. It means that I lose control and I make a choice I know I shouldn't make because I'm too angry. Luckily, when we're moving up that thermometer, our body will send in some body clues to let us know that there's a problem and something needs our attention. Our face turns red, our body temperature goes up so we start to sweat, our heartbeat gets faster, our breathing changes, and sometimes it feels like your stomach is being tied up in knots. Why do you think your body would try to warn you that you're too high up the thermometer? What do you think it wants you to do? If you were thinking calm down, you've got the right answer. Our body is trying to tell us that we need to do something to bring our anger back down to a safer level. Wouldn't it be great if we could all just snap our fingers and magically calm down? But that's not how it works. We have to put a little bit of time and effort into calming down in a healthy way. There are lots of different things that we can do to calm down. We can have a drink of water, eat a healthy snack. We can go for a run or exercise or listen to music. We can read a book or spend time with a pet. We can even have a nap or do something that we find fun. Sometimes you can even use computers to calm down, but this one gets a star, not because it's my favorite one, but because I need you to make a smart choice about what you're doing on that computer. When you're feeling angry, that's not the time to play the hit em up, hurt em up, beat em up type video games. It's just not teaching your brain a healthy thing to do. Some of you may have heard that when you feel angry, you can punch a pillow. I'm not gonna suggest that one. We don't wanna teach our body that it's okay to hit when we're feeling angry. That's just not a healthy thing to do. We have to pay attention to our brain and our body. If they're sending us clues that our anger thermometer is going up, 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 we have to make the choice to do something healthy to bring it back down. It's our job to take care of our anger thermometers and protect them. We only get one our whole life. So if your anger thermometer explodes, it does put itself back together again, but it takes a long time for it to be as strong as it used to be. Are you ready for your challenge, boys and girls? 
This week, I challenge you to take care of those anger thermometers. If your brain or your body is telling you that you're too high, do something healthy to calm yourself down. It's time for me to sign off again. I'll see you really soon, but until then, take care of yourself and each other. Goodbye, boys and girls.